Hey, hey, Bow Doctor here. Out here in the 22 North River, uh, did a server job, ran, uh, I guess, over logs, so they had to tear the power head and all, everything off. Uh, so, had a little residue to start with, but that was just rip residual oil off of the side. You can see just that little bit there. Uh, so I think he did it. I suggest he pop the hood when I get back and just double check everything. But it seems to be working good. I fired the kicker up just to make sure that runs good. Uh, plenty of power. You do have that stainless steel vibration. That's typical. We, I just had a discussion with the gentleman this morning about stainless. Uh, they were good. You can run them on the big V6s. So anyway, just fire it up. Hey, and I appreciate you guys trusting me. I mean, uh, let me take your boat out. That's an honor, believe it or not. Okay, this takes a couple seconds to get water coming out on these V6s, probably about 10 to 15 seconds. It's not like your kicker where it's automatic. It's boom, now it's running. I don't see no oil in the water, so that's good. And it took all RPM ranges. I run it through the boat doctor test uh, to see. Then I'll put my coffee there. So I put it in gear, it goes in good. So right here, I can either, on my feed, but I'm, I can sense this stuff probably quicker and most people don't even realize it. And then the wiper, if you watch the wiper, okay, right here, they all normally have a vibration right there. I can feel it. That's typical. I don't even care if you have aluminum. It's a little bit more noticeable when you have a stainless because they don't flex. See right there about 1100 it kind of went away and then sometimes they come back at 3000 And again, this is all normal. There's 2000. I can start feeling it a little bit again There it went away And then we'll see what happens at about there. See 2800. See how that wiper? That's typical Get it? Yeah 3000 and once you get about that 35 in it, it just it's on top runs good but that little vibration if you ever feel that that's normal because of the stainless and it takes strong really good and just start trimming it up Notice though, on your uh, floor fish box, you got a seacock valve back there. Okay, when the seacock valve is like this, that means it's open and it'll let water in. And if you turn the valve to where it goes like this starboard side, the long part of the handle, that closes it. Okay, it was closed when I got in the boat and I made sure, went out, and then it filled up with water. So I said, huh, that's weird. So, but here's a little trick. Say you want to get that water out of there fast. What you do is that's on that right hand side where you can put a drain plug from the outside or inside. Now I'd always carry a spare in case that valve gave way. Uh, what I think it was, was it was sticking partly open, even though you thought it was closed, but I worked it back and forth and it seems to be working fine now. Uh, but anyway, what you want to do is over to the right hand side, I believe is where the main drain plug is. So what you do is you want to turn a tight circle. If you want to get it, if that's full, you want to get it out there quick, just turn like this at a pretty good speed. And it, what it does is it lifts the boat up like this to get that hole where it drains out of the water. Give it a little gas, hit your trim tab so you get more lean. You make about maybe five circles and that water will be out of there versus you have to run a long way straight before it comes out. This is a little t uh, tr a trick, I should say, tip whatever but everything seems to be good uh good job guys uh, boat doctor out